going by today's video title, does black strap molasses get rid of gray hair permanently? And the answer to that is no. Stay tuned to find out why and what else I've discovered. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11. So this is the long awaited video that I was trying out the black strap molasses to get rid of gray hair. This was suggested by you guys in the comments as a follow on from my Morgan's pomade video of how to get rid of gray hair permanently. Going by my introduction, I said no black strap molasses for me personally did not get rid of gray hair. In fact, I feel like I've had a multiplication of gray hairs. Gray hair personally is not something that bothers me as some may presume due to my last video. But guys, I'm just here to do the little experiments so you can see what works. It's not necessarily a case that I don't like my gray hairs. I just want to see if I could increase my time of dark strands. However, I'm gonna let these grays shine through. I don't have a problem with it. You can see my grays popping through. I've got some to the side. So let's get into what you guys, the viewers have said. When you suggested that I try blackstrap molasses and the overall process for me. Firstly, before I talk about how to use blackstrap molasses, I'm gonna discuss what blackstrap molasses is exactly. Is it a treacle? Yes, it is. But it is the remnants of the treacle. So it's a process. You have light treacle, which is cooked from sugar cane being boiled. When it starts to bubble, that's the light treacle that we have. There's three levels. There's light, there's medium, and then there's blackstrap molasses. In regards to the blackstrap molasses, I'm going to read this. So it says, it's the dark liquid byproduct that is extracted in the third boil of sugar cane production. It has a unique blend of minerals and vitamins that are not normally found in regular sugar cane. Many of these minerals and nutrients are the reason blackstrap molasses is used for hair. It contains high amounts of iron, copper, manganese, calcium, potassium, and magnesium. Right, so now we've cleared that up and we know what blackstrap molasses is, let's move on to the next stage how to use it. So I had a couple of people say initially when I showed my YouTube short how I was going to use the blackstrap molasses to over time get rid of these greys. A lot of people thought I was going to apply it directly to my hair and I suppose you can do that but I personally done a bit of research and I've seen very rarely that people do apply this to their hair. I suppose during the washing process. The way I chose to use this blackstrap molasses and had been advised by others was a teaspoon a day. Now guys I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you have conditions such as diabetes because it is high in sugar content. So however, if you do want to try this method, I would suggest maybe getting a little blood work done prior just to see what minerals you might be deficient in, i.e. copper, iron, vitamin D, what have you. I've had all my blood work done, so it was fine for me to take the blackstrap molasses. So I'm not just telling you to go ahead and take it. I've seen conflicting information that others would say, take it for a month and you'll notice a difference. It takes up to a year. Now I've done it for a month initially because that was what I saw and was suggested to me by my subscribers. So I've done 30 days and if I'm honest guys, not only did I not see a reduction in my greys, I actually saw an increase increased amount of greys. No issue there, but I do believe that was obviously one of the reasons why it didn't work for me. If I went on to do it for about a year, would I be comfortable doing that? I don't think so. I don't think I'd be happy taking blackstrap molasses every single day for 365, maybe 366 days a year. So with that being said, this for me personally wouldn't necessarily be my go-to for removing greys if that's what I wanted to do. So I'm doing a little experiments, as I said, guys, for you. So I've told you how I used it to get rid of the greys, get rid of the greys. However, I'm gonna read an extract I found online and it said how to use the blackstrap molasses to get rid of your greys. Blackstrap molasses contains vitamins and minerals that encourage the production of cell renewal, prevention of hair loss, and nourishes the follicles. Furthermore, high copper levels in blackstrap molasses stimulate melanin production, which repigment and darken hair. Additionally, blackstrap molasses is high in antioxidants. It thickens hair and, and stimulates strong hair growth. In other words, it supports healthy hair growth and reversal of gray in hair. In regards to the thickness, I'm not saying the blackstrap molasses didn't do anything for me because I did notice upon taking it for 30 days and I did take it for 30 days straight, I had it in a teaspoon for the first week and then it got a bit too much. It was a bit too rich and a bit too bitter and I, I, it, wasn't, it wasn't pleasurable for me. 
So I actually started using it as a substitute in my herbal teas. You can put this in other teas. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend coffee because coffee doesn't allow iron absorption. So then if you're putting the molasses into your coffee, which has a high content of iron, it's counterproductive. I would say maybe put it in a herbal tea. Again, maybe not green tea because green tea does have caffeine in it. I've heard others put it in smoothies and what have you, but I prefer to take it more concentrated just so I know I'm getting a good amount of pure black molasses if that makes sense so i know that i'm doing like a fair test i'm going to move on to the benefits of using blackstrap molasses now there's more benefits overall than just healthy hair so you've got the increased amount of vitamins and minerals but as i said guys you have to see what you're deficient in if you are even deficient in any of these vitamins and minerals as i mentioned copper magnesium potassium iron if you do want to increase your energy and your vitamin intake in a natural natural way rather than actual vitamin supplements I would highly recommend this but as I said do your due diligence guys don't just take Lauren's word for it and then come back and tell me I told you to do it secondly as I mentioned it has a high iron content which blackstrap molasses is well known for and this could potentially these are potential pros this could potentially treat anemia caused by malabsorption which could be caused through drinking alcohol, drinking caffeinated drinks, or just poor dietary intake. But as I said, I do recommend you get your levels checked beforehand. Number three, it could potentially help constipation in children due to the high potassium content. Right, so moving on to the pro number four, it can be known to reduce the amount of free radicals in your body which are harmful and can create diseases. It is an antioxidant so it helps to remove the oxidized stress in your body potentially which then in turn can reduce the risk of disease. Number five it's high in calcium so therefore can increase the health of teeth and bones, nails, and last but not least as I mentioned and what this whole video is about it is great for healthy hair due to the high mineral and vitamin content. With such a rich product, too much of something is not necessarily good, so let's talk about the cons. Now, if you're solely concentrating on taking blackstrap molasses just for your hair, you have, the con is, it can take up to a year if you wanna see a change in reduction of gray hairs. Due to the high content of mineral and vitamins in the blackstrap molasses, you don't exactly know the amount of vitamins and minerals that are intaking through the blackstrap molasses, so therefore it's hard to judge. Whereas if you do have minerals and vitamin supplements, you get a weighed amount, i.e. 50 mg or what have you. With the blackstrap molasses, if you're taking a spoonful, you don't know the content amount of each of those ions and magnesiums and you might be overdoing it. If you do start to notice an adverse reaction, i.e. I suppose headaches, lightheadedness, what have you, I would then say maybe pull back on the blackstrap molasses because maybe you're getting an influx of vitamins and your body can't necessarily handle it all at once. Another con is, if you do start to notice a reduction in your grey hair and then you decide to stop taking the blackstrap molasses, you have the potential for the greys to come back more thick and fast. So therefore, it will be something you have to continue taking. And if you are overdoing it just to keep the grey hairs at bay, you may be, as I said, like number one, intaking too many minerals and vitamins which could then have an adverse effect on your body and the last con would be the length of how long you'd have to take the blackstrap molasses as i mentioned previously it could take up to a year so if you want some instant results or a lot quicker i should say you might want to go and check out this how to get rid of gray hair permanently video to see an alternative that you might want to go for for quicker results